DL Asset Track is the world's most powerful blockchain-based low-code platform which helps the supply chain operations of your business on a whole new level. DL Asset Track has inbuilt intricate access to functionalities such as asset category, asset profile, business entity, business workflows, data operator, etc. to help you manage your supply chain operations smoothly. Find it a bit complex? Let's untangle this thread for you. To better understand the key concepts of DL Asset Track, let's consider an example of ready-made clothing. The supply chain debacle transcends from cotton fields to the manufacturing company, from the manufacturing company to the carrier company, from the carrier company to the warehouse of a retail giant, and finally into the hands of the end consumer. The story begins in the lush cotton fields of Anwar Farming Company in Bangladesh. Anwar Farming Company is a cotton production company and our first business entity. The harvested cotton is packed in sacks. Ali, the participant under Anwar Farming Company, raises the request by entering the raw cotton data on the DL Asset Track platform. The key product, Cotton, is now handed over to Alistair Cotton Warehouse, our second business entity, which manufactures cotton bales. Amit, the participant working for Alistair Cotton Warehouse, simultaneously fills the data about cotton bales on the platform. The company further transports these cotton bales to the clothing manufacturer, Reba Textile Manufacturing Private Limited, our third business entity. At Reba Textile Manufacturing, cotton bales are processed through spinning, weaving, dyeing, and sewing to transform into elegant cotton shirts the final product. Bicky, the participant working for Reba Textile Manufacturing, enters the fabric and shirts information on the platform. Here, one business workflow is completed, that is from harvesting raw cotton to manufacturing cotton shirts. Remember, Ali and other participants like him under different business entities cannot delete the data once updated on the platform. Moving ahead, these cotton shirts are ready to be shipped from Reba Textile Manufacturing, Bangladesh to Winston Mark, Canada. Now, the story shifts to the second level of the product life cycle. A new business workflow begins. A mole trucking collects the cotton shirt shipment from Reba Textile Manufacturing and moves it to Chittagong Port, Bangladesh, and thus becomes our fourth business entity. Mohan, the participant, fills in data about the shipment on the platform. Unicargo Carriers, a logistics company, and our fifth business entity, picks up the shipment from the port and transports it across seas straight to Canada. Like the participants of previous business entities, John, a Unicargo employee, enters the shipment data on the platform. All business entities can see the data entered by previous business entities in a business workflow. However, they cannot make changes to it. The cotton shirt shipment arrives at the port of Montreal, Canada. How do we ensure that the shirts have reached safely? Well, DL Asset Track has the functionality of feeding and processing data to the minutest level from the quality of the product to the desired physical condition the shipment should be in at each stage of the workflow. Rudy's Transport, the sixth business entity of this business workflow, transports the cotton shirt shipment to the warehouse of Winston Mart, the retail giant that holds the major thread of this cycle. Winston Mart, being the operator and the main entity, 
can most certainly make changes to the business workflow cycle and add or remove any business entity, participant, attributes, etc. as needed. Winston Mart can also add an internal or external auditor to scrutinize the authenticity of the transactions and data entries. Multiple business entities can also have the option to appoint auditors depending on the mutual agreement between all the parties. Winston Mart has to pay all the business entities involved in this business workflow. A hectic payment process, right? Not anymore. DL Asset Track enables end-to-end -end automation of the business process, allows seamless data exchange among multiple entities, drastically reduces disputes, and enables the organization to pay its vendors in real time. Such a level of automation and transparency leads to happy vendors. Vendors, in this case, are business entities who can add one or multiple participants for data addition. Our clothing life cycle comprises two business workflows. However, a company can have one or multiple business workflows as required. Winston Mart here acts as the operator managing the entire clothing life cycle and also allocates an auditor to scrutinize the life cycle. The allotment of operators or auditors can be customized as well. Various characteristics of a product are known as attributes. A combination or basket of such attributes is known as asset category, which here is cotton shirts. An asset category can have multiple attributes as per requirements. The platform can be customized to hyper-automate transactions and actions. It can analyze and execute the required actions whenever a certain condition is fulfilled. Speaking of our cotton shirts, Winston Mart further distributes them to be put on sale in its multiple stores across Canada. Imagine walking into the store and being able to read the shirt's material composition and journey from the fields of Bangladesh into your hands in Canada. Won't that be a delightful experience for the customers as well? That's the level of detailing DL Asset Track provides to your product life cycle. You can use DL Asset Track internally within your company for interdepartment data exchange and to associate with partner companies and vendors to track and manage data efficiently. Ultimately, the goal remains the same. Unhindered business collaboration and data transparency of the highest order. Welcome to the new world order of business democracy.